Guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Your boy is backing out and did it again. All right. Listen, guys. So today we're going to talk about DTube and we're going to talk about uh, Steemit.com. Yeah, Steemit.com. <laughs> what exactly are they? Uh, pretty much is, uh, well, Steemit is a website that basically pays uh, creators money for every time that they create something, they post something. Uh, people give them likes so you get like a little money a little currency, you know steam power Okay, and now what is DTube? DTube is pretty much is like another child of steam it I believe the person who created it was a independent developer And is supposed to compete with YouTube and all the other uh, Websites that have video right but what's cool about it is the fact that people can come in and share their opinions and, and just be honest and, and share whatever they want to share onto the internet without having to worry about, oh, YouTube is going to, you know, ban me. YouTube is going to delete my channel. YouTube is going to do this and that. I think it's a great idea what they have. The fact that you can actually come here and basically just post everything that you want without thinking about oh my god my advertisers is gonna pull out on me because i said the wrong thing and it's like nah the people pretty much pay you if somebody likes the content and they give you a vote you know it's like they paid you from there so just form a like which is cool all right now the biggest problem that i see with steam it and also that i see in d2 is that everybody's just there for the same thing everybody's there trying to get that money everybody's there trying to just get a little like you know posting so many things about cryptocurrencies and that's all they really post about it's very rare that people come in and post other stuff you know and show up on the trending pages you know like youtube you might see things like entertainment or you know music video or etc right you might see something that most people will be like hey this is funny i like it so the average user is going to go to the website now when you come in here and you might see somebody you know david pacman i love his channel he's legit uh you know you have let's say for example talk about bit shares uh what else is in here crypto green madness uh what else is in here join us now join us now live crypto bitcoin steam and chat uh talk tmf what else is here man stock exchange what else is here block trades <laughs> like you know most of the stuff that we see out here you know thank god for joseph for for posting this video this is rare i'm being honest this is rare this is not every day thing where you might see people just sharing ideas sharing news that's happening out there that doesn't have to do with bitcoin or esteem like let the platform just be the platform right like one of the major problems in this thing is just that everybody just talking about bitcoin steam uh, ethereum they're talking about the same thing so it's like this website in reality is a bubble of everybody who wants to be inside of you know, somehow in cryptocurrencies Right, so we're only targeting the same people. We're not bringing in nobody else from the outside. I think one of the best things that happened to this website is having David Pacman because now he's gonna come in and, and share stuff from the news, right? And and just like have people come in and share their opinions and and it's cool, you know, it's definitely cool to see that. Uh, another thing that I see that is completely wrong is like. You know, hot girls and sexy girls who just come into the website and put in a little thing like, oh, here's my lunch. Here's how I made my coffee today. Here's my travel pictures. Like, I don't know. I find that sad. You know what I mean? Like, it's like these girls are pretty much out here just giving this guy, you know, giving people like, I don't know. Like, it just seems like shady. To me, it seems shady. It definitely seems shady. Um, yeah, because it's like, like, I don't know. I feel like, are people that sad to be like, oh my God, it's a hot girl. She's in here. Come on, guys. Like this, 
it's some stupid salad or or some stupid uh <laughs> like hey she had a coffee and it's a lot of times i'll be seeing this a lot from like uh uh you know sexy hot asian girls who are you know just traveling the world it's like hey i'm traveling the world and it's like some guy taking pictures of her i've seen a girl too who is like uh pretty much i forgot her name but she's i i looked up just to see but she's like pretty much like a a slave to this this uh guy like you know how one of those situations like in thailand where uh th this uh, american uh, australian you know, european guy goes out there with his uh you know how you call this with his retirement money and for this girl who doesn't have anything it's like that's like a, a come up she's like this poor guy who only making like fifteen hundred dollars a month right for her that's a lot of money so she's with this guy all the time and this guy all he does is take pictures of her pretty much exploits her right uh I don't even know her name videos of her on on x tube like porn type things just exploiting this girl and then it's like now after exploiting her on on youtube um not youtube on, on x tube and all those other uh freaking porn sites now the dude got her on on steam it i wish i would have saved her her name up but she's here man she's here i've seen it somebody sent me a, a a video of it and i was like this is some girl from some porn video and i looked at the thing and the thing it just looks sad and then now the guy got her on on steamit.com and it's like you, you get what i'm saying like i don't know like i i love the idea of steaming i love the idea of uh, d2 but we gotta get real content creators in here not just the same thing of hey guys cryptocurrency this hey guys bitcoin went up eleven thousand dollars today and and that's all we're gonna talk about or we're gonna have this this young asian girls over here is like hi guys today i got fed some some food like we really don't want to see that like the general public is not gonna come in here for that all right thank god for david pacman like literally i saw this today i was like whoa thank god for this dude i came in here like two months and i was like yo i was gonna go really hard and I, I really want to bring my community to to uh you know to cement.com and to dtube and i want to i'm gonna continue sharing it you know people i want you guys whoever watches this video understand i love dtube i love steaming i love the idea behind it i love the fact that you could get pretty much uh you know some cryptocurrencies from creating good content and the people is the one that decide which content are good and which ones are bad but we need to get more regular people in here. We can't just have, you know, a Johnny and his mom and, and his brother-in-law who are into cryptocurrencies and, and that's all they're here for. Now, nah, we need people, just regular people, you know, a little Billy from the block who likes, you know, Call of Duty games. Little Johnny from up the block who likes to see uh, uh, Grand Theft Auto V games. We need to see uh, uh, Jenny, a little Jenny who likes to see uh, her favorite uh, makeup artist, whatever. Uh, we need to see uh, Linus Tech doing reviews here. We need to see regular people. And I'm not saying that everybody that's here for cryptocurrencies is not regular people I'm, i don't mean that what i mean is we just need just average people just here creating content we can't have you know just sexy girls like hi guys i'm, I'm making coffee hmm. Hmm. like we don't need that like <laughs> what is this you know what i mean like what is this like we don't need to be seeing no asian girls just here hmm. Here's some, here, I made coffee today. Hmm. Like, come on, man. Like, we need content. Like, that's the only way that this this thing is going to work. You know what I mean? Like, Jerry Banfield showing up every day on the top trending uh, post. Um, and I love the guy. He's the one that actually put me onto this. But all he talks about is the same thing. How can we make money on Steaming? And it's like, wait, what? Like, share content share stuff share other stuff like we need to make other people popular i know there's other creators here who are creating cool stuff right but nobody sees them all right so we need to figure out how to put those guys 
to the top? How can we come in and, and bring them up? How can we share their content? How can they make their, their content easier to find? Right? Because it's, it's very easy to say, Hey, we just got to target the crypto community. It's like, yeah, duh. Everybody that's here knows about cryptocurrencies. That's why they're here. How can we bring in just the regular people? Bring in the kids, bring in the grandmas, bring in the, you know, the wives that want to see the, you know, makeup artists. They want to see uh, DIYs. Like those are the things that I want to be able to have on this platform. You know, for some people, they might say, man, you're talking about YouTube. Well, it's a reason why YouTube is successful because everybody's there, right? We don't want this to become, Hey, only the crypto guys are, are, are in here. Like we're not getting nothing about the, with that. You know what I mean? Like we're not going to get no props. We're not going to get no money. We're not going to get anything. This thing is not going to be worth anything. Having the same 2000 people in here, creating the same type of content over and over again, like. Hey, today, e e Ethereum went up to $1,000, guys. Everybody upvotes it. And it's like, you get what I'm saying? I hope you guys understand. And I hope you guys get used to this. I'm, I'm planning on coming back to, to DTube and creating more content more regularly. All right? But at the same time, my channel is about being honest and just sharing real opinions. If you like the fact that somebody's saying something about this, Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like my videos. Just share it, my posts, whatever you want to do with it, right? If I, if nobody sees this, I know a lot of people's gonna see me on YouTube. But if nobody sees it on DTube, it's fine. You know, I don't mind. I want to bring my community here to YouTube. I want everybody who's watching me right now. I think this community is gonna grow, but we need to get more people like you guys creating content, right? You guys who are developers, you guys who are designers, you guys who are gamers, you guys who are etc. Fill in the blank, right? You guys know what you are, right? You guys know what you like to do, what you do on your your free time. The little funny video where your sister-in-law fell down the stairs. Hey, I want to see it. You know what I mean? Like, let's make D2 great again. You know? So, yeah, man, we here. All right, so this is your boy Joe back at it again, man. CodingFace.com. If you never heard of me, go check out my website, CodingFace.com. If you're looking to become a developer, uh, that's one of the things that I do out here. I create courses from the things that I've seen as a developer. I've been a, a developer for over five years, have worked in major companies, have also done uh, a lot of cool and cool and great projects on my own, which basically have taught me everything I needed to know about web development and programming in general. So my specialty is breaking things down, making things that seem hard, making it look easy. Just because I talk to you just plain English. I'm not trying to sound over here like I'm super smart. I'm not trying to give you a whole bunch of big words to confuse you. If you're looking to get into coding, you're looking to build in your own website, looking to create your own applications, hit me up. My website is codingphase.com. I have a whole bunch of courses there. Pretty much over 20 courses that you could literally get for a subscription base. All right. So I'll see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again.